So we were walking and we ran into this guy and he was trying to like invite us to this gym to get a membership. Um, and he actually spoke English. Um, so he was exchanging numbers and we chat information with us. And I was like, can you tell us where we can find some good food? And he was like, oh yeah, yeah, of course. Um, what are y'all looking for, rice or noodles? <laughs> We've been here for about three weeks now and there has been a lot that has gone on, especially as it pertains to like just getting settled. Um, I know a lot of people are kind of wondering like w how the transition has been, but I, f in my experience, like from what I've seen, like my experience has been pretty good. Um, I can't really speak for Jeff. How, I mean, what do you think? It's been good. It's been um, exactly what I expected it to be. So yeah, I think we're good. We're on track. Yeah, so I, I, I would probably say the same thing. Like yeah. I expected it to be tough, like with the language barrier. I expected it mm -hmm. to be kind of weird, you know, to for me just to go back into the classroom. I haven't been in the classroom since uh, since March. And I mean, it feels good. You know, I, I got so tired of doing the online thing, but to be on campus in a classroom, it feels it feels right. Everything feels right. Um, but yeah, we've been trying to resettle. We've been trying to, you know, get all of our stuff in order, you know, trying to, you know, fill out our house a little bit or our apartment a little bit more. We live on the campus and um, everything's really convenient, you know, so we've been trying to fill everything out. Um, we bought this plant the other day. You can't see it, but I'll show you um, in like a picture. It's like right beside us. I don't feel like moving the camera, but yeah. Um, it's big. It was a good price too. Yeah. Both of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, it was actually my first, the first time I ever bought a plant before. I've never Me bought too. a plant, which is pretty interesting. <laughs> um, I mean, still our house is pretty bare. Our, our apartment is pretty bare. Uh, we don't have that much stuff in it, but I kind of like, I mean, I think we can agree that we kind of like yes, it. Yeah, it's it. easy to keep clean. The one thing that we we didn't, we I'm going to say that we didn't do well was we didn't do a good job of like preparing our clothes, or at least me. I'm not going to speak for you, but... Like, I think we left clothes. Like, my son and daughter have a pair of shoes that we had just bought that we left. And actually, we didn't just leave it. We threw it out. Like, any of the stuff that we left in our old home, um, we threw out because we're renting it out to um, some renters. Um, that way we can, you know, capitalize on this financial benefit of being here. But um, now we just got to kind of restock and get some stuff, you know, some simple things for ourselves. And then, you know, maybe some wants that we might yeah. have. So. Well, mm -hmm. you told us we can only bring two bags a piece, so that's why we didn't bring I was trying to be conservative. Like, I was trying to be, because I didn't want us, we had already had, like, a lot of bags, so I didn't want to overdo it, you know, we trying to take everything. We packed up and every moved our whole life. I didn't think we had a lot of bags for packing up and moving our whole life to a whole nother continent. Yeah, I, I probably did drop the ball on that one, but, I mean, I think overall. I mean, it was a struggle bringing all those bags, like, in the yeah. airport with two kids. So, I get it. It but was tough. But we just have to now basically kind of start from scratch with a bunch of things. Mm -hmm. Which is, it can be fun, but it can also be um, worrisome. Yeah. Just having to, like, shoes and. And we tried to, we've been trying to get a bunch of stuff. Like, yeah, a, a little bunch of clothes. Little, we've online been, and stuff like that. Yeah, and we've been going out, like, these stores, it's really hard to go out to these stores, especially with kids, because at any given moment, like, Jordan and Leo, dude, they are, like, just a ticking time bomb waiting to go off. Mm -hmm. And I hate to say that about my little kids, but they're mine, and I can say what I want about them. And, dude, like, this video, for example, we tried to make this video yesterday. Wish y'all act better, but y'all don't. <laughs> Jordan's probably having the best time out of everybody. Mm -hmm. I would agree with yeah, that. Yeah, because he started school. You got home there, Jordan. So you ready for school now, huh? What do you think is the hardest adjustment for you so far? Uh, For me, it's... Uh, That's tough. I think it. I think it's. Uh, well, initially it was getting the apps. You know, understanding the apps and trying to navigate um, like Chinese characters. Those things are 
ridiculous, hard to understand, but we have like the translator and stuff. So that kind of made it easy. But translator app. Yeah, you the don't tran- have a translator. Well, you know what I mean. Yeah, the translator I was app. So they know. My bad. Um, but I think that was probably the that was probably the hardest thing. I mean, of course, my you know moving away from family and stuff like that. But you know, like I miss my sisters, I miss my brothers and my mom, and um, you know, that's I mean that that's pretty you know much the toughest thing. But I had already lived away from my family. You know, I lived in another state. You know, a few hours away from them, so it was kind of it wasn't really that tough to move to China for me. But um, what about you? The attention that we're getting. Mm. I mean, we had a precursor because we kind of watched some videos, mm-hmm. but I think coming and being African American here is one thing, but coming being African American with two small children is a whole nother thing. Like, yeah, it is just like. The barriers and the. You mean like the what barriers you mean like the actual I'm physical sorry. barriers? Like not barriers, but what am I trying to say? Like the. It's a word. <laughs> it's not coming to mind, but it's. I don't know. <laughs> boundaries. That's what. Oh, it is. okay, like, I got you. Yeah. Boundaries as far as like touching you, uh, putting their hands on you, picking your children up. Like, yeah. that is completely out of the norm for me. She took our kid. He ain't did nothing. He ain't squared up with nothing. Hey, two words, bro. What you talking about? Like, like I said, when I first started watching those videos and I would see, like, people getting you know, all that attention and all the kids being, you know, people touching their hairs and taking pictures and stuff. I was like, okay, that's interesting. I wonder how long it's gonna take for me to get tired of that. But now being here in real life, it's gotten annoying much faster than what I thought it was going to. Like (laughs) everywhere we go, like people are staring at us. When I get on my bike in the morning and ride around the city, like people, like they're thrown off by me and it's all understandable you know it's all out of curiosity you know some of it i'm sure some people probably are saying like mean stuff like why are they here or something like that but that is what it is i mean it's a ran- <laughs> i'm random you know just to show up you know they don't see a lot of black people i have not seen any black people actually i saw one black person saw in one a taco lady. bell oh that was in okay and that, that was, was in another in, city yeah that was in huejo um no 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 that wasn't what- when we went to link city yesterday Oh, she was we did like, see that. Yeah, yeah. she kind of did see that black woman. She, like, right, she said she was beautiful or something. Or something. Yeah. yeah, she just kept going. I was like, yeah. "Hey, no, all <laughs> right, be my friend." <laughs> I didn't want to seem desperate. We gotta but link I was up. Like, I would have <laughs> loved to talk to that woman. Right. But um, like I, I think we, I think we're starting to feel that or that need to like talk to people that. I mean, I hate to look say, it, like but us. just that look like us, you look know, look like us, sound like us, can relate mm-hmm. to us, you know that aren't in awe of us. Right. Like, that would be nice. <laughs> yeah, it's like everybody, when they look at us, it's like they'll stop in their tracks and just, they're like, you know, some, and they smile, you know, they smile, some of them, you know, laugh, some of them just, you know. Uh, literally, like, are in awe, like, we'll yeah. be like, oh, like this, mm-hmm. I think I mentioned this in another video, but Leah, like, one little girl was like, it's so beautiful when she was looking oh, at no, me. Oh, told me that. Yeah, yeah. she was like, like look at it. It's so beautiful. <laughs> and I was like. I guess not even a human. Whoa. That's, yeah. It's but, crazy. It's yeah. crazy, man. But, yeah, that that does get annoying. But, to be I mean, to be honest, like, I feel like right now, for me, the benefits outweigh the, the negatives, like, a lot by a lot. Mm-hmm. The only negatives that I see really are, you know, the language. And it's really not a negative. It's just a ch- challenge really I see these as challenges you know like I said the language the fact that you can't just walk on the on the sidewalk safely because so many people are zooming by all crazy and then um, just being away from family you know just regular stuff man you know like Mm -hmm. so you don't have to worry about us in that particular sense yet you know we gotta I think the thing that's gonna just gonna keep us like really tight is if me and you continue to communicate with each other if we communicate with Jordan because he you know he can like express himself and some you know mm-hmm. yeah if you want to open that, <laughs> that door because he'll just talk your head off but um I wonder where he gets that from I don't know mm. 
But um, okay. yeah, man, if we just continue to do that and just you know keep a strong home front, I think that so. we'll just get stronger and we'll feel more comfortable going out and experiencing different things. Like I go out a lot. Like I think I feel like I go out by myself a lot. I don't know if you you don't go out a lot. No, I don't go. Out a lot. <laughs> I'm a homebody, but I was a homebody in the states as well. Yeah. So yeah. And it's, yeah. you know, just feeling comfortable just getting out. You know, we've been to a few different places. Um, we go, we walk a lot to the mall, yeah. to the couple stores, like, around mm-hmm. the area, just to really get out of the apartment. Um, yeah. We've gone to a park, a really nice park. It was a flower festival um, there. But we haven't gone to, like, a lot of events. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah. I think that's just because of the kids, mm-hmm. really, trying to find, like, family fun stuff that we can do and we like I said we've only just got here so we really haven't branched out that much we've just been kind of trying to get our bearings you know walking a little bit you know we take a Didi which is the Chinese Uber we take that you know to a few different places but for real we just we walk a lot like Mm -hmm. everywhere if we leave the house we usually end up walking like a few miles a day which Um, is really good for me it is yeah it is really good oh yeah cool with that yeah it's like an (laughs) And it tires the kids out, you know, yes. so. Yeah, but, <laughs> so they if, sleep good. Right. Jordan does pretty good walking. He can keep up. Yeah. He, he's a trooper. I'm just saying when we, when, we, we, when we do go out, we usually don't get what we want to get because the kids eventually start oh, yeah. crying it's never and whining. A, an accomplished, like, yeah. adventure. Like, usually it's cut short or we're just, we just give up. We're like, let's just go back home. Yeah. Um, after being out for hours and getting lost and... Yeah. All that fun stuff. Right. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, so we, then we just end up ordering stuff online mm-hmm. and getting it sent to the house or the apartment. Which is very convenient. Mm-hmm. Like, we just click on the app. They order every, I mean, they can deliver anything. Groceries, fast food, restaurant food, any kind of food. And food. Items, items. Anything. Anything. And it's, just, it's so convenient. They usually come within, like, 15 minutes with uh, Meituan. And uh, there's another one, JD everything is like what you would expect moving to another country Mm -hmm. and i think even better you know like i think it's been a a pretty good experience thus far so yeah i still haven't found a place to play basketball yet though so we did we we went to that gym up there by the sportsplex but oh yeah yeah there's a place where he can but i'm gonna have to check that out yeah i'm gonna check that out over this winter and see or over this winter break my winter break is on friday so we got two weeks off where we can kind of travel a little bit more um mm-hmm. try to try to just try to branch out a little bit more and you, we'll get more content to you guys with that but thank you guys for you know always send watching our questions. videos send mm-hmm. us questions like things y'all want to know or like things y'all want to see we'll try to go out and do it or something right. mm-hmm. we'll try to let the kids be in a video but they whew. they're wild man they get so wild yeah. jordan he's like me like he, he wants, takes over talks too much yeah <laughs> Catch you guys later. Thanks for following us. Make sure that you subscribe and like our videos, ask questions, and we'll see you guys later. Bye. Take care. Later.